and stuff. I'm telling a little bit what, what your feelings about this goes. I'm uh, I'm very excited. Uh, today is the push on button to to release everything. We have been working hard for one and a half year, short time to make a such a thing like that would happen today. And, but we are super excited. Me and my team, my partner, and uh, this is the day where everything gets out worldwide. And uh, coming to the brand and it's it's like a dream because when you were young you were always playing with different kind of brands and you were super happy i have this the other one has that and like like a competition but now i'm i'm coming with my own brand and that is a feeling that i don't know how many gets the opportunity but i got it and i took it and uh, and i'm very happy for it so and to see all the people training the clothes, especially the kids, that is what I'm looking forward to, because that is what will give me something back. When did your interest in clothes start? Um, first of all, these clothes is about training clothes, so we are not into fashion. It looks good, yes, but we are in the training zone, so it's all about the training. And that is what we are focusing on and where we want to be with A to Z for the moment. And. Uh, and we m make it possible for you and we are helping you. But at the same time, we are saying it's not about the gear. So this will not make you top level. This will not make you become something, whatever you want to become. Everything is in your head because if you want to become something, you can become it, but you need to spend time on the training. That is what it's all about. So we don't do promises. We don't say, put on a shirt and you will feel strong. Put on pants, you will be faster. No. There is other ones that does these kind of things. We we do it in the real way. And uh, what's the thought process behind um, the name A to Z? I know you know amateur to Zlatan. Are you, <laughs> Are you sure it's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we came up with the name and it fitted perfect because you can say from amateur to Zlatan or you begin from A and you bring it all the way to Z. So there is many kind of things you can say it, but I, I find it very cool, A to Z. You begin at A and you bring it all the way to Z. So, but the Z can be anything. It doesn't mean you're professional football player, professional basketball player, what it, because it's a multi-brand. It's a brand for, for all kind of training. So I find it very suitable. How many styles are there in the collection? We have the, the, the performer, we have, there is, in, if we look on the products, it's around 70 pieces. So there is everything you need to have for the training. So whatever you need, you will have it. And there is nothing, not necessary high tech stuff because details, I mean, on the product because trust me, the product will not make you better. You feel comfortable. You feel very loose when you have it, very easy, very discreet, <coughs> the way it should be when you train. Mm -hmm. okay. And perfect shape for the body also. What's your business strategy for the future? Business in this or in general? In general. I don't know. I don't know. Be Being happy and doing things I believe in. Mm -hmm. And and when you see, like I explained with A to Z, when I see kids using this or whoever use it, that is my feedback. That is, you achieve something. And that is, that is a vision I have. So, and that will happen, I'm pretty sure, because we are the people's brand. Like me, I am the people's man. So you're also gonna sponsor uh, other players? Let's see what happens. I don't need other players. They need me. <laughs> I'm, fr I'm from Holland. Is it also okay? Alles goed. Yeah, heel goed, heel goed. Is it also a goal to be uh, yeah, big in Holland with your with your sportwear? Worldwide, yeah. worldwide. We are not here to be among other ones. Mm -hmm. We are here to be on top. That is what we are aiming. So we are going in a battlefield against the big ones, but we will leave the battlefield like number one. Yeah. So, so Holland is is a target. Yes, absolutely. Talk about Holland. Uh, it's the first European championship without, without, without the orange colors, which I feel very sad because I think a country like Holland and the football, the way they play, should represent in every tournament, big tournaments.
and it's uh, disappointing that they're not there. Yeah. And besides the besides Robert and Schneider, do you know any players from Holland? Yeah, right you now? have Depay, you have Gregory van der Field. There is many good players, and but Holland have to cheer for Sweden now. Yeah. So, like we cheer for Holland when we are not there. So. We, we have a backup. Yeah. Were you surprised that Holland wasn't at the European Championship? I didn't follow it. I knew in the end that they didn't make it. And uh, of course, I think everybody was a little bit in, not a little bit, was very shocked that they didn't make it and, uh, and surprised because Holland is always favorite to, to go far as possible in a tournament. So, but I mean, I have my problem. Holland has their problems. Yeah, I have a question about clothes again. Is it, you, it seems that you like to go like uh, very casual uh, now when you when you leave the training and you go home and you wear a lot of sweatpants. Yes, it's, it's that clothes you have like this. You can you use it in that way, but our focus is training. Mm -hmm. So you can use it like in normal lifestyle. Yes, you can. I mean, depends on what kind of style you have or what kind of the way you wanna use your clothes. I like to feel comfortable. I like to feel me when I use my things. I don't use things like I feel not comfortable because I am not myself. So I like to be sporty wherever I go. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you need to look good, especially when you receive your trophies. <laughs> so then you need to... But maybe next time I'll come with my sport brand. Yeah. And can I you, shock everybody. Can you say something about uh, uh, this change in style, your personal style, from when you when you lived in Italy and when you came to Paris? It feels like you got a, like a higher fashion conscious here in Paris. You developed the fragrance and everything. I think uh, in Italy, I like the Italian fashion. I am not hundred percent into fashion. I don't follow fashion hundred percent. I have a wife that is into it, and she understands it because for me, fashion is. Either you are fashion or you're not. There is nothing between because I see many, let's say, football players. They, they dress up and it feels like, you know, when you pass a shop and you see the doll and he's dressed and they buy exactly like he looks like and they put it on them. <laughs> that for me is not fashion. Fashion is you have an ID for the way you put the clothes on you and it has to feel comfortable. That is what I think or believe fashion is. And I'm not 100% fashion. I like to dress up sporty. I come casual. And the most important is how I feel and how I think I look like. Mm -hmm. The other ones, they judge you, but that is not important. I mean, people will always look at you, what, what kind of dress you have. That is up to them. The most important is the, if you feel comfortable and good. That is, for me, yeah. the, the style, the mm -hmm. passion. So uh, with regards to the, the design and aesthetic of A to Z, how involved were you in the whole process? I was very, I am involved since day one. I've been as much as possible on the, in different places where it's happening. And we have a main, let's say, main, uh, main zone in Oslo. There is where my partner is from. And uh, many things are happening there, even in Stockholm and in Paris. So as soon as I had time to, to go to the big meeting or whatever, or they came to me. So I've been involved, very involved, because when I do the things, I want to be involved. I want to feel I am behind it 200%, because it has to fit me, and it has to it has to be real. It cannot be a made-up story, because I will never give my name to name or use me to somebody that I have no clue what he will do, or just to do something to make money or sell. I'm not into that. I do because I like the challenge and and when you have passion for something and this is my area, training area. And this is something I've been doing for 15 to 20 years. So this is something I want to do. So you give it 200% attention and I feel it's very important. Did you have fun getting involved in that side of things? I learn. I learn a lot. I'm still learning and it's a new area for me but I'm I'm excited, super excited, because the things you have been saying, I want it like this, next time it comes like that. So I find it very cool and uh, cool, cool ideas, the process, how it works, takes time. Sometimes you don't have the patience because like you get it and you're like, oh, this is not what I want. 
but they're like, come, we are getting there, we are getting there. So, but we are here. In short time, we made a big collection. And according to my partner, he says, it's not possible to make a collection in one and a half year because it takes more time. So we have a super great team. Everybody has been working double time what they're normally doing. So it's a it's a big challenge. And it's but launched. Is it today at five o'clock? Today is the launch. Today you can we buy it today. Phil, today it goes online. Mm -hmm. So we will be streaming live via Facebook mm -hmm. all over the world. So everybody will participate in the event and plus the people that will be there. Mm -hmm. So it's a historical day for us today. It's lovely you've done this uh, Volvo commercial fantastic video you. and you have uh, done the perfume. How uh, important is it to build in your brand uh, uh, and uh, what do you see yourself uh, in five years? I think you should do the things that you believe in. I mean, I have the Volvo. After the first time, first commercial I did with Volvo, I felt I got attached to Volvo. And when they came with a second idea, I was like, after you did a successful thing, should you do the second one? Because the second one has to be not better, much better. And the ideas were, we were talking, we had a lot of discussions and we came with this idea, what, what is hap that happened now? And uh, I felt it would be much better. And that's why I did it. If the idea would not be good, whatever the offer or whatever it was on the table, I would not accept it because it has to be real. It has to feel 200%. The perfume, same thing. I was not 100% sure there. But when I met the team, the two ladies that is behind it, I said, OK, we will do it, because I believed in them. So it's not about putting my name or something, and then they go and they make as much money as possible. Money, I don't need money. I came from the poor. I know how it is to be poor, and I have, I'm on the side where you have money also, so I know how it is to come from the both sides. For me, the most important is me and my family, we have food on the table. The rest, they will not make you happy. It will make it easy for you. So whatever I do in these things, is not about the money, because I have, so I can live another 50 years without even working, so I have no problems with this. It's the passion, it's the challenge, and how much you're willing to sacrifice for it. So in five years, hopefully, we are still doing some things and enjoying it. So there is where I see myself. Or else I could put my name on 200 things. You would see everywhere Zlatan, Zlatan. But with the few things I do, still you see Zlatan everywhere. Yeah. We're talking about... Okay. Sorry, one question. Yeah. We're talking about five years. Are you still a football player in five years? Because in Holland there are a lot of people thinking, well, maybe he has a special place for our Ajax in his heart. He will come Ajax will, will always be in my heart. That is the first step I took to take over the world. So Ajax will always be in my heart. And in five years, I don't know what will happen because the first time I planned my future, it went opposite. So I decided I don't plan my future. It's Calpe Diem. I take day by day. If I'm still on top in five years, you will see me still play football. So when, when was that? When you first uh, planned your future? And it, went opposite. it was in Barcelona. Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona. And it went opposite. So. Take day by day. Enjoy the day. Super. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Clothes at Manchester. Do you will wear these clothes at Manchester? People will wear it in Manchester. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Merci.